is a big day for all of us and one that was, uh, as you heard, probably 22 years in the making. So now this developing news from the Texas Medical Center. The Texas Heart Institute says they've implanted the first of its kind artificial heart. Health reporter Haley Hernandez was there for the big announcement and is joining us now with this incredible news. Haley. It really is incredible. So mechanical hearts have been used as a bridge to getting someone to transplant before, but Texas Heart says that they have a device that they believe will be permanent. And looking into the future, that means saving more lives every year without needing a donor. It's not science fiction either. Remember, Texas Heart has been pioneering medical advancements just like this for almost 55 years. The first artificial heart ever implanted into a human was done here by Denton Cooley on October 4th in 1969. During a press conference Thursday, the Texas Heart Institute shook the medical world when announcing the Bivacor total artificial heart was implanted on July 9th. The Texas Heart Institute and Bivacor are pleased to announce the world's first implant of the Bivacor total artificial heart in a critically ill 57-year-old man who was in cardiogenic shock and awaiting a heart transplant at Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center. It's not ready for everyone waiting for a heart, not yet. But what these surgeons and technology experts have figured out could possibly save thousands of people who die of congestive heart failure every year. I've done over 1,300 heart transplants. It's a great operation, but it's not durable, and it depends on someone else's misfortune. You can't just bring it off the shelf. And this one marks a new milestone in artificial heart advancements, which boils down to this. Traditional total artificial hearts, they break, but they're also large, and they can't fit in everybody. How is the Bivacor device different from these? All the hearts imitated our own natural beating hearts. They would fill, they would eject. Well, if your heart's beating 100 times a minute, that's 144,000 times every day. It's 52 million times in a year. No man-made device can do that without breaking. And that's been borne out by all these hearts. They can keep a patient alive while we're looking for a donor heart to transplant them, but they fail capriciously. Uh, the heart of the heart is this spinning disc that sits inside a magnetic field. And this spinning disc, when it's levitated like that, there's no mechanical wear. So that means the device should really never really wear out so long as it's getting power. Should never wear out. The first patient is doing well, too. They are now looking for four more patients, and then the studies will continue to grow. So now the million-dollar question is, when is this going to be available for wide use? Texas Heart Institute says that if everything goes right, this could potentially be available in only about five years. Wow. Yeah. So five years, if you're somebody waiting for a heart, that's a long time. But for the rest of us, five years in medical, in the medical world, that's pretty quick. Pretty fast, yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. A lot of lives. It is fascinating. Thank you, Haley.